Okay, so something came in the mail today and it was from 2K UK and it is the SmackDown Collector's Edition of WWE 2K20. So we're going to unbox this today and again, thanks to 2K UK for hooking me up with a Collector's Edition to unbox for you guys. And I must say, it does look slightly smaller than I expected. I thought this box was going to be pretty big, but it's not. It's quite concise and well packaged. So let's check it out. What do we get? Now I'm going to remove the sleeve which comes with this packaging and then it looks a bit like this. And I'm just going to tilt it to you. It's kind of reflective and it's got lots of moments through the years of Smackdown. So I actually quite like the packaging itself, even though it wasn't quite what I expected. Uh, but let's see what is inside. What do you get inside the collector's edition? And I will list all the details in the description as well. So first and foremost, I'm just going to put that there. You get a copy of WWE 2K20 and it is the Deluxe Edition. And as part of that, we're just going to open this up. Uh, obviously, you get a copy of the game. Um, get an instruction manual. And then you've got a list here of the Deluxe Edition bonus content. So you have uh, WWE 2K20, SmackDown 20th Anniversary Edition, Playable Superstars, all WWE 2K Originals, WWE 2K20 Accelerator Pack, and a WWE 2K20 My Player Kickstart. That's what you get with the Deluxe Edition. So I'm just going to show you that card as well there. So there you go. You also get some super card content which come via QR codes. I'm not going to show you those because I'm sure one of you cheeky buggers will indeed scan it. But that is everything you get inside the box. Now what else do you get inside the packaging of this collector's edition? So I'm just going to empty this out. This one's playing a bit hard to get, but we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so what we've got here is one of these. So what's inside? Always trying like to be careful with the packaging because that's the whole point of it. It's like a collector's item, so you don't really want to damage it or anything like that. But ooh, what have we got? Oh, this is pretty cool. So I'm just going to show you this. So on the back, actually, first, it's got the WWE 2K20 logo. And then on the front, just going to lift this up. Uh, there you go. Can you see that, actually? Do you know what? Let's, let's get that in there a bit better. Can you see that better? There you go. There you go. So you can actually see the item. And it is a plaque. Uh, featured from SmackDown, an um, authentic ring skirt piece uh, from uh, the 2002 and 2008 period. And you've actually got a unique number um, from, um, I think there's 30,000 of these. And you've got your unique number of where you were from those 30,000. And it's just down there. I'll just try and, there we go. It's just down there. That's the authentic ring skirt piece. So you get that as well. And it does show the uh, Big Show and Brock Lesnar when they broke the ring. Um, what a great moment that was. I dig that. What else do we have? Do, do, do. Oh, there's another supercar code in there. So we won't be revealing that one. Um, and then we get a slightly bigger WWE 2K20 box. And what do we have here? I assume this is, it's going to be interesting actually, which one we get because there were different ones. Rey Mysterio, Edge, and I think the other one, Kurt Angle, I think. So which one did we get? Who, who did we get? If I could get it out, you'd be able to find out. Ah, here we go. Woo! Ooh, look what we got. So, I'm terrible at turning to the camera, aren't I? But there you go. 
And that is the, from SmackDown episode 153, July 25th, 2002, Rey Mysterio makes his WWE debut. And it's autographed as well for the man himself, the master of the 619. You see it there. And that is pretty cool. And I'm quite interested because I have seen other content creators um, receive these collector's editions. So it'd be quite cool to see which um, plaque they actually got, whether they got Rey Mysterio or one of the other superstars. But I think that's probably the best piece of the collector's edition. So, is that everything? Is it? It is. So this year there's no like um, Funko or there's no um, like statue in the past. I think in the NXT edition you did get like a statue of Finn Balor as the demon. So there isn't anything like that. But I think possibly I would say this that the items within this collector's edition are more high value. Um, but yeah, I'd like to think that. So these are more collector's pieces as opposed to say a Funko Pop, which is collectible, but um, I don't think it's as rare as the pieces that you're getting inside this SmackDown 20th anniversary edition. So yeah, that is the collector's edition. Like I said, much smaller than I expected it to be, but it is everything that comes with WWE 2K20. And of course, it does come with the Deluxe Edition. So you get everything with that. Um, but if you do want to pick it out, or if you do want to pick it up, I will list the details in the description for an overview of what you get and what I got as part of this collector's edition. And if you want to get a better up close look, then follow me on Instagram at Delzinski and there will be pictures of each item posted on my Instagram. And it should be up either say today or maybe tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that again at Delzinski on my Instagram. So guys, my question to you is, have you pre-ordered this already? What do you think of the collector's edition this year? Um, I think it feels less, but saying that the items to me seem more of high value. Um, so maybe from a collector's uh, perspective, it's worth picking up in that sense. Um, in terms of the game, well, we will talk about that in more detail. Um, I will actually give you my first thoughts about the game in a separate video. But again, a shout out to 2K for hooking me up with the collector's edition. I dig the pieces inside and I've always said that with the collector's edition, it's really about the pieces that come with it, the physical items to me. And if you're a fan of Supercard, if you're a player of Supercard, then you get these rare uh, QR codes. And if you're a collector, then you get these items that you will surely keep. Um, the only other reason really I think why you'd pick up the collector's edition if you're a fan of say like the packaging and you just want to keep those. Um, I remember a couple of years ago we did get that NXT box. I've got that one. We had the John Cena one which I didn't get. Um, but we've had quite a lot of different collector's items so it's quite good to keep them over the years and go back and see which different collector's editions we've had. Um, but yeah, um, if you want to pick it up again all the details in the description but that was the collector's edition um, I will be honest it does feel quite short because there isn't very much in it but again like I said these are much more higher value items so again you've got your Rey Mysterio boom and you've got your authentic do, 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 do. that wasn't one of the items by the way uh, you get your authentic piece of the ring skirt from Smackdown over the years and it's the silver ring skirt so there you go. What do you think of the collector's edition, guys? Let me know in the comment section. That is it. And for now, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Are you picking up a copy of 2K20? Have your say. I'll see you later.